The MTV VMAs for last night. Uh, we have, of course, three lovely ladies winning awards. Well, much more than that. But we saw Chapel Roan winning Best New Artist. We see Taylor Swift, Artist of the Year. So many more. Sabrina Carpenter winning as well. And Chapel Roan clapping back. Yeah. And some photog- photographers that were just, you know, too aggressive. Taylor Swift became, I think, the biggest award winner of all time. Mm-hmm. Bested Beyonce. Kudos, ladies. Yeah. We had Eminem showing up. Win- well, winning an award. So it was good to see him win an award again. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, yeah, just a good night overall. Sabrina Carpenter making out with an alien. You can't oh. go wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Who knew? Yeah. Do you have any blind items about the VMAs, Mike? I might. You never know. I will say uh, we normally get just a ton of them after an award show like this. But, you know, those after parties where a lot of the blind items get created, a lot of them are still going, maybe. Yeah. Or just wrapping up. You know, it usually I did want to say, I think with these shows in particular, it'll be like the second night after or the second day where you'll you'll get a lot of the. Uh, the award stuff. So maybe tomorrow you'll have a juicier pool. Hopefully, but let's start out at the VMAs with this one. Apparently, it was also backstage where this A minus list rapper slash reality star who got a big boost to his stock this summer got even handsier with the A plus list singer. Apparently, it was also backstage that this A minus list rapper slash reality star who had a uh, big boost in his stock this summer got even more handsy mm. with the A plus list singer. Who was getting mm. handsy? Does that imply that he was handsy on stage? He was. Ah. Uh-huh. Oh. Which is where I think this blind item comes from. Is that from. Eminem? Nope. A minus rapper, also A- reality star? A minus list rapper slash reality star. Was Machine Gun Kelly there? No. I don't know. I, wa- I watched clips, I'll be honest. I didn't watch the whole thing. Uh, let's see. Who could this be? A minus list rapper and reality star. Mm-hmm. Are they. We got a big boost this summer. Flavor Flav. There you go. Oh. Of course, what is was... Flavor doing? Apparently getting handsy with an A plus list singer. Ooh. A plus list. Taylor Swift. There you go. You watched the award ceremony or the award announcement. It was actually Flava Flay of presenting Taylor with one of her awards, her in Post Malone. And uh, people felt like it was a very awkward exchange. Okay. There was a, a okay. hug that maybe lasted a little a little too long. She started pulling away. He kept holding on tight. And oh. I guess, according to the blind items, that continued when they got backstage. I mean, not that anyone should ever do this anyway, but like, especially to like, do you remember, sir? Yeah. What she did to a man who touched her in a way she did not want to be touched. Which was completely inappropriate and unfortunately, embarrassingly, a radio DJ. Well, but I'm saying, do you remember what happened to him? Yeah. It won good. So Flavor, sir, Mr. Flav. He's just really excited for her. He actually is. He's apparently a huge Swifty. But Aww. can I also remind you, Mr. Flava, she is dating a six foot five, two hundred and fifty pound tight end. Yeah. <laughs> oh, who would gosh. just destroy well, let's hope you? The blind item <laughs> is trying to make more out of yes. that than needs be. I'm guessing that's what it is. Because we don't want to screw up the inevitable Taylor Swift and Flavor Flav Red Lobster commercial campaign. Oh my gosh. Maybe Correct. they'll do a commercial where she'll be in the sea and like a little her face will be on a crab and he's pulling her up her out face of the, will be on a crab you know it'll be like a oh i'm a crab or she's like really a Taylor mermaid Swift. oh a mermaid. and she <laughs> delivers him some cheddar bay biscuits from the deep blue oh that is a good idea travis will be the crab travis is the crab this mm-hmm. is great why is he a crab I don't know. Because Why is there crab? he's got to be incorporated. He be crab. They don't have crab. I will say they, crab they have fest. crab legs, though. To me, that's not crab. That's like that's like ocean spiders. 100%. I don't like crab legs. No, I love crab legs. I don't like what they offer for crab legs. Oh. Yeah. Well, because they're not red the big lobsters. ones. Sponsorship. Yes. They, those, no. But I want, give see, me Dungeness, just, give me king crab, not whatever those things oh are. Gosh, I'm a big fan of like blue crab. crab. Oh, yeah. Where do you guys get crab? Uh, well, in high school, um, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> just when you, because we're in Minnesota. It. In the South, not in Minnesota. Okay, like when you go to Florida, yeah. you have some great places that you go. Or yeah. Joe's Crab Shack always has some good Dungeness well, crab. They, they got some. Uh, 
Oh, do they here in the Twin Cities? No, there's no Joe's around oh, here. Oh, we don't have Joe's. There was one in, um, well, it doesn't <laughs> what matter. Is a seafood this is tr- not a local. <laughs> We are recording in the Twin Cities for the YouTube audience who was wondering what the hell we're doing. But yeah, uh-huh. we don't have a lot of local seafood other than like smoked herring. But if you're enjoying this show from anywhere else that maybe has an abundance of crab, feel free to send it to yes. us. Yes, I love crab. And it's those skinny food. legs. We want them big, mm-hmm. juicy ones. Literally my favorite meal. Let's move on to another one. The permanent A-list singer was told they would have won an award if they made an appearance last night. It wasn't one of the big ones, so they declined, and the producers just gave a second to the host. The host would have been shut out, but I guess this is the reward for playing ball. Oh. Remember who hosted last night? No. Okay, there was a permanent A-list singer. What's that? Uh, Oh, okay. There's a permanent A-list singer who was told they would have won an award had they showed up last night. It wasn't one of the big ones, so they declined, and the producers just gave a second to the host. The host would have been shut out, but that's the reward for playing ball. Is this a Beyonce thing? It is. Okay. She was like, I don't want your like second-tier award that you're going to try to pawn off to get me to show up. And who would Beyonce not have wanted? Well, I don't think that doesn't matter. They're just basically saying that the person who hosted last night, they threw him yeah. another bone that they might Wait, not have gotten. Was this Sabrina Carpenter? Nope. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Well, if I just would have watched the whole thing, is it uh what genre of music? Are they a pop star? Okay. Are they a rapper? Okay. 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 Female rapper? Nicki Minaj. Megan the Stallion. There you go. There you got go. it. Oh. According to the blind items, and I don't remember exactly what award it was. I think it was uh it was something about like video editing or art. Some I don't remember. Oh no, trending. I think it was trending video of the year. Uh, apparently, according oh. to the blind item, Beyonce would have won that for Texas Hold'em, but she decided not to show up, so they just threw she Megan the like, Stallion yeah, a second award. Okay. And uh, God, the blind it. item, Megan the Stallion wouldn't have won any awards, but that's the price for hey, look, hosting. thanks Beyonce. Hmm. I mean, I'll take her sloppy seconds for sure. Oh, I shouldn't yeah. have said it like that. That was uncomfortable. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I love crab legs. I do too. Do you like them with butter yes. or what? I mean, if it's a good crab leg, you can just eat it without yeah. butter. But I sure do love to dip it in hot butter. Hot butter. <laughs> oh, we, we did two different songs, I think. No, All right. no, you did both. You just were Same song. harmonizing. All right, here we go. Uh, for a project that's uh, this anticipated, it's bizarre that the studio continues to move it around to accommodate everyone else. It's likely a sign that they are not expecting it to do as well as anticipated, which would be a problem given the budget and the promotion. So, for a project that is this anticipated, it's mm-hmm. bizarre that the studio continues to move it around to accommodate everyone else. It's likely a sign that they're not expecting it to do as well as they thought, which would be a problem given the budget and promotion. Is okay. this that Megalopolopolis? Not the Megalopolopolis from it, Francis Ford Coppola. Is it something that's just being talked about right now? Like uh, in planning? It's already been filmed? Okay, because I was going to say... The Green Lantern rumors or something. Um, okay, hmm. so they've been moving it around. It was supposed to be this fall. Is this a this is movie theaters not streaming? Okay. Anticipated. Um, is it project this anticipated? It's for a project this anticipated. It's bizarre to see the studio continue to move it around to accommodate everyone else. Gosh. It's likely a sign they're not expecting it to do as well as they had hoped, which would be a problem given the budget and promotion. Think of our upcoming movies that are highly promoted with a high budget. Okay. Movies that are highly promoted with a big budget. It's not a like superhero movie. God. Uh, I don't know. It's so much I have so much streaming in my head. That's my excuse. Okay. Like when streaming well, shows are coming out. Excuses, shm excuses. <laughs> okay. Um <clears throat> Will and Harper. Harper and Will. No. What is that? Well, that's it's a movie. Will it's a Ferrell and his Harper friend Lee. Harper. They go around the country. Oh, and yeah. 
Yeah. But I mean, like, this is a studio release. This is a uh-huh. big a movie studio release. Uh, and again, it's just trying to give some pockets. answer instead of just sitting here, which is what I usually do when I don't know. Okay. Clearly, you guys have not watched much of the NFL or anything live recently because you had only been seeing promotion for this movie. Okay. Or if you've gone to a movie recently, it's bizarre for a Don, highly been anticipated movies. A oh, movie. Horizon? Uh, oh, my god! Maybe the highest anticipated movie of the year. Really? Yeah. Uh, oh, Bob Dil- the Bob Dylan movie? No. Bob, Bob Dylan. Dole. Bob Dole. That's a movie I've been working on. You will be <laughs> green with envy when you come up with the answer. Oh, the Caterpillar movie. The Hulk? Oh, my God. Godzilla? I'm thinking of green, green things. Not trying to be mean. The Grinch. No, you can be mean. That's why no, we I'm, not, I'm gonna be you. really mean. In fact, I'm gonna be just Oh, you're a mean one, Mr. Mr. Grinch. Grinch. No. Green Acres is Acres. the place to be. <laughs> green if I, beans. If I was from Boston and something was either really good or really mean, what would it be? It'd mean be Joe Green. Wicked. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, God. That was a long road. I'm leaving. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Bye. <laughs> We're sorry. Come back. Actually, Maybe I'll be right back. back. Okay. Um, It's wicked. You're going to leave. Why are you leaving? What is he doing? <laughs> uh, wicked. The correct answer. Nicely done. Um, okay. Let me fill in the... Uh... You know, I've heard... I think I've just kind of, it's been so long since we've been talking about Wicked. Sure. I feel like it's been five years. Yeah. Because of Ariana Grande. And well, it the really affair. has because of the writer's strike. Writer's I mean, strike. I mean, it, yeah. It's been so long. This what was actually doing? announced. Oh, yes. He got the sour balls. This is your punishment. Why is it my punishment? I got it right. After a wicked long time. We're both eating them because it took us so damn long. There you go. Come on now. Got the sour balls in her mouth. Where's, do I have a, Something to sop up my spit? No. Oh, uh, God, I don't want to do it. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. So, filling in the blind item, it's bizarre to see a movie this anticipated continue to move around to accommodate everyone else. It's likely a sign that it's not going to do as well as they originally thought, which will be a problem given the budget and the unbelievably large amount of promotion we are getting around this film. You may recall they actually moved up a week to avoid the same release as Moana 2. Mm-hmm. So there are they are going to be releasing at the same time as um, Gladiator, which is why I'm coming up and coining Wickedator. Mm-hmm. I like that. I think we need to do that. Wickedator. Uh, but then next year, Wicked Part 2, because the one thing nobody talks about in this promotion is this is just oh. part one of a two-part film. Wicked 2 no. is also moved up to avoid being released at the oh. same time as Zootopia 2. Okay, I, I'm getting on the I other know side. I was Wicked 2. No, th- that's the weird thing about this promotion. They haven't talked about This is part one. This entire Wicked is absolutely part one. They've Ooh. already, like, I mean, Wicked 2 is already, I think, maybe even filmed and done. God, I don't even care anymore. Oh, okay. Oh. It's been so long. Wow. You'll care Wicked. once it's out again. I'm not really, yeah. I mean, I like at least the I show. Will. I like the Broadway play. Yeah. So Wicked 2 has also moved its dates, just like this one, again, to avoid some of those other movies that are being released. Kind of common practice, but according to the blind items, maybe a sign so, that they're not expecting it to be able to compete against Zootopia and Moana. The first two of Zootopia those. Zootopia was yeah. like unbelievably, well, that did so much at the box it office. Did. Yeah, way overexpected, I think. Just so the audience knows, we have a stash of the world's sourest sour. Put that in your mouth. It's Put not sour anymore. Fire. It's just like a little marble. It's the sourest sour ball. And whenever we can't answer blind items within a certain amount of time, we're forced to take one. And it's not by mic. Yeah, I didn't force that upon anybody. Uh, Zootopia did uh, do a billion dollars at the box office. So the second one is expected to do pretty Don't forget well. there's an extra surprise at the middle. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. All right, let's do another blind item. You guys are... Uh, 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 you're doing something today. Let's move on to this next one. Uh, ring watch. This A minus list actress is not wearing her engagement ring anymore. It's because her higher on the list ex fiance has instructed her to stop. He thinks it's taking her too long to announce their split. Oh, mm-hmm. so we don't know that they're split. Um, 
Her ex fiance. This isn't of. a Ben and J Lo. It's not. Okay. Um, ring watch. We've got an A minus list for actress not wearing her engagement ring anymore. It's mm. because her higher on the list ex fiance has instructed her to stop. Mm. He thinks it's taking her too long to announce their split. Um, and this is an A minus list actress. Actor. A minus list actress and a higher on the list ex fiance. Mm. Is he not an actor? He is not an actor. Athlete? Nope. Oh. Politician? No. You skipped over a uh, most popular. Musician? Ah. Uh, oh. You got it. A minus list actress. Higher on the list musician. Ex fiance. It's not. Not announcing a split. Dave Grohl? Nope. Because you're married. We got all. Because she was not wearing her wedding ring either. That's why I thought oh. of that. Whoa. We got uh, a lot more blinds about them mm-hmm. coming up at some point. But... Oh, jeez. I know. Yikes. Oh. All right, so again, Ring Watch, we've got an A-minus list actress not wearing her engagement ring anymore. It's because her higher on the list musician ex-fiance has instructed her to stop. He thinks it's taking her too long to announce their split. Hmm. To... A split we have discussed multiple times. We have discussed a split between an A-minus list actress and a higher on the list musician. Uh, oh, oh... No. Hmm. Is he foreign born? Yep. Okay. He's the foreign born musician. And he's from a band. He's, he's from, from a, a band. band. I mean, they, I think they're all boys, but I don't think it's considered a boy oh. band. It's a man band. It's a, well, I, yeah. A one man band? It's a man band. No, it's a four man band. Mm. Oh, Dakota Johnson. There you Martin. go. There you oh, go. Oh, yes. good, good, good. Uh, again, we are uh, continuing this train here until we actually get an announcement. We've heard rumors that uh, it's her wanting to do it on her own terms, but the blind item is now saying she has been instructed by this- Chris Martin to stop wearing her her uh, engagement ring uh, because it's taking her too long to announce their split. This is the m- most bizarre, not the most bizarre. There have been far more bizarre, mm-hmm. but I don't want to be too hyperbolic. This is still a very... Weird blind theme for me. Like, we keep hearing about this, and like, they are pushing back in the media, like, this is not happening. Uh, that is, they're pushing through tabloids, yep. but yet, like, we have no reason to, like, why is this a story? Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like, been a story if you're for not, so long. if you're not together, great, just tell us. But, like, this weird, like, are they or aren't they that nobody really seems to be paying attention to except for them and the people. Maybe uh, they the wanted blinds. to get through some movie promotions or some projects they had going on. Um, Madam Webb. Well, they got through it. <laughs> I, know. I didn't make it any money anymore. Yeah. So well, yeah. I don't know. Mm. It's weird. It's bizarre. It is just weird that this keeps popping up. It's like, just be done already. We're I mean, not going to be done allegedly already. telling random ladies that yeah. he picks up on the side of the street that he's not. That, that he's sounded single. weirder than it was. It was some lady going to the concert. It was actually a very nice thing. That you did. Nice so, old yes. lady. Mm-hmm. All right, we're doing another blind item here. Rolling through it to this one. It's nearly the end of the season for this very fast foreign-born A-list athlete. And it's time to debut a new contract girlfriend. Sounds like his people are working on a longer-term deal like he once had with the A-list singer from a group turned TV judge. His recent agreements have all been short-term ones out of convenience. This will likely be with a younger celebrity who needs the much needs as much attention, uh, or or needs the attention, I should say. Okay. So again, we've got a very fast foreign-born A-list athlete with a season coming to an end, and it's time for a new contract girlfriend. Sounds like his people are working on a longer-term deal, like he had with the A-minus-list singer from a group turned TV judge. Oh. His recent agreements have all been short-term ones out of convenience. This will likely be with a younger celeb who needs the attention. Is this like some sort of soccer star? Nope. Uh, NFL? Nope. Because his season just started. If it's This season's about to come to an end. Okay. So it's nearly the end of the season for this very fast foreign-born A-list athlete. Very oh, fast. Yeah. Is she Nicole Scherzinger? Yes. Wow. Oh, Nicely done. Oh, F1... Um, uh, uh, Mario Andretti. No, his name is Louis. There you go. Not I'll give Louis one, son. No. Louis Ferrigno. Ham. Ham sandwich. Ham sandwich. Louis Ham sandwich, mm-hmm. aka Louis Hamilton. Hamilton. <laughs> Louis. <laughs> like we call Lewis, him here. Lewis I'm blinded Hamilton. by the item. Louis Ham sandwich. 
You know, good old Louis Ham Sammy. Nicely done with the Nicole Scherzinger uh, poll. That helped uh, helped seal it. Uh, according to the blind item, it's nearly the end of the season. Well, that's a fact, I guess. It's nearly the end of the season for uh, Formula One, and it's time for Lewis Hamilton to debut a new contract girlfriend. Sounds like his people are working on a long-term deal like he had with Nicole, and uh, his recent agreements have all been short-term out of convenience. This will likely be a younger celebrity who needs the attention. Let's just remind you, of the, I think the kids would call it body count, but the long list of people uh, he has dated in the past. Mm. And these are some and not limited to some of our favorite contract relationship uh, and publicationship people. Oh. Gigi Hadid, oh. Rita Ora, oh. Kendall Jenner, oh. Shakira, Ding. Nicki Minaj, Ding. Sophie Ritchie, wow. Rihanna. What? The wow. list goes on and on. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's interesting. There's a reason why the blind items are so set on the fact that he's participating in publicationships and contracted relationships and you know whatever the reason behind yeah. that might be that's what the blind items are often talking about there's a few other models and and people that you probably haven't heard of from the uk that have also looked for attention mm -hmm. as well so it's shocking the that is list shocking. of people he's been tied to i did not know that yeah wow. what's he got uh a lot of money oh my god and he's very, so rich and, and he's very looks. good He's a very and attractive man. A fast car? I got a fast car. <laughs> and a lot of money and something in my pants. <laughs> what? Well, I mean, I would hope. Yeah, Formula One drivers get paid pretty well. Uh, he's estimated to be worth nearly a quarter of a billion dollars. Mm. Most yeah. of that due to sponsorship. Yeah, he's Well, good luck the best to him. What about best. Arena Shake? They ever date? They Maybe they're next. Yeah, that's true. That would make a lot of sense. I mean, he's that's true. He's, with, he's been with Gigi, been with Rita. You know, again, for those who maybe don't follow the blinds so closely, there are people that just pop up in the blinds repeatedly. And whether that's, you know, wishful thinking or not, like uh, it is fascinating to me mm -hmm. how there's a whole other world that we never, yeah, you know, see up close. Right. And yeah, a lot of those names that we mentioned, not only popping up in the blinds, but they are actually have been tied to these same names yeah. that we normally see yeah. in Bradley relationships. Cooper. Bradley Cooper, obviously one of yeah. them. Yeah. So I don't know. There you go. That's a blind item for y'all. Well, thank you. Uh, let's move on to another quick Michael. one here. We got just a little bit of time left. This foreign born former A-list actor can blame whoever he wants for not having bigger studio movie roles. But the fact of the matter is everyone knows he's a B-hole mm. and terrible to work with. So nobody hires him. Don't be a B-hole. Uh, foreign born. Yes, this foreign born former A list actor mm -hmm. can blame whoever he wants for not having more bigger studio roles. But the fact of the matter is, everyone knows he's a b hole and terrible to work with, so they don't hire him. Who's a foreign born b hole? Um, Russell Crowe. Nope. Gerard Depardieu. <laughs> nope. <Just kidding. laughs> he's an A and a B and a C, as you would um, say. How about. Uh, is he a. Oscar nominee? Um, I believe he's an Oscar nominee. Wow. Perhaps. Let me see his award. Is he a Brit? Uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. Uh, nope. And he is a Brit. He is a Brit, but he's Actually, not a Cumberbatch. Be, uh, let me see. Uh, Eddie Redmayne? we got a little bit of time here. Um, no, I don't think Oscar's in there. I do think he's got Emmys, though, or at least nominated for it. Idris Elba. Nope. Ben M, uh, twice no uh, Emmy nominated. Is he James Bond? He is not. He's definitely somebody we've talked about in the past, though, being very be holish in public, mm. including at an award show when somebody asked him. Oh, Hugh Grant. What he's wearing. Yeah. Oh, Hugh, Hugh Grant. Grant. Yeah, he get can, over yourself. He can go on and blame whoever he wants, but the fact of the matter is everyone knows who he is and how he is. That's why he's not getting hired. He recently went on a rant that he's sick of doing studio movies because he feels like untalented uh, executive producers get in the way of creativity. Okay, let's not blame producers. <laughs> exactly. I mean, maybe he's the problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know who doesn't I get in the way of me. our creativity? That guy over there, Michael Ganger, the host <laughs> of this program, which, by the way, is on the radio on my talk. And we are a podcast wherever you get those like and subscribe, leave a review. And we're even on the YouTubes. It's a channel. Like and subscribe. It's called Blinded by the Item. Bye. Blinded by the item. item.